Sometimes you can't quite see your drawing the way you want to. Maybe the drawing just doesn't fit in your viewport and paper space and you want it rotated. Well, that's not a problem. You can just turn your screen over on its side. Well, not literally, of course, but with a twist. So let's open up one of our files. Let's look at the model beam clamp angle file. This is a 3D model. And it's something I drew up as a project years ago. Here's a metal beam. And this is just a two by six piece of wood right here. And what they wanted to do is actually in a facility that stores boats in a dry slip. That's what it's called. And they stack the boats on these pieces of wood and they have metal beams for framework and they needed to be able to mount this wood to the beam. So that's what these clamps and things are here that you can see. Well, let's say I needed to show this in a drawing at a very specific view. Now, I can go to my top view or whatever I need to do in paper space. One thing that I can do, as I just showed you there, is the 3D orbit command. I can get to that in a couple of different ways. My preferred way is what I feel is the simplest. Hold down the shift key and hold down the middle mouse button. Just press them both at the same time and hold them down and move your mouse left and right. That'll rotate it. And if you move it up and down, it'll rotate it this way. And if you do it in conjunction, it'll rotate them in multiple different axes at the same time. And so this is a great way to get a different view of your drawing. Now, where 3D Orbit is fun, it lacks precision. And you can use it in any view. You can use it in model space, or you can go to paper space. So here I have paper space. It's on the layout tab number one. And I have a viewport. I can use my 3D Orbit here again and try to get the view that I want but getting it exact can be rather difficult. Now, one thing you can do is go to your custom views and pick top, front, bottom, left, right, that sort of thing. Well, let's say that what you want to do is to just show this, but at 45 degrees, like it's rotated. Well, that's really difficult to do with the 3D orbit command. So I'm going to put it back in the top view. And if I have it in top view, but let's say I don't want it oriented this way. Maybe I want the wooden beam here to go up and down and the metal beam to go left and right. Well, I don't have any views here that will do that. I can go top, left, right. I can look at it from the back, or I can look at it in a specific isometric view, but I can't rotate this. So what I'm going to do is use a command called D view. So I type in the word D view. Now D view isn't in the ribbon anymore. It's an older command, but it still works. And you can use this for 3D objects or 2D objects. Type in D view, press enter. Now you have to select something. Now I can pick anything in here. I can pick one thing. I can pick all of the things. It really won't matter because the entire view is going to be rotated. So I select everything in this case and I press enter. Now I have several different options. I can go to a camera view or a target or a specific distance or a point etc. So you can see I have a lot of these are my options, but I'm going to use twist. So you can type in TW, or you can just pick twist in the command line. Now it starts off just like AutoCAD's rotate command. This is at the perfectly horizontal option. That's at zero degrees. Now I can tell it where to rotate just by moving my mouse and clicking, or I can type in a command or an angle. I'm going to type in 45. So it makes it very easy for you to see. So it's going to rotate from here in this horizontal position on the right side of my screen, up 45 degrees. So it's going to put it right about there. So I'm going to press enter, and that's my view. Now, the really cool thing about this is that once you press enter, I'm out of the command. You can see I'm rotated 45 degrees. If I go to model space, it didn't affect my model view whatsoever. So I can spin this one around here, all that I'd like, go back to my paper space tab, and in my viewport, it's still good. So if I double click inside this paper space tab again, I can type in the word plan, world, and it will put it back. I'm going to undo that. Another thing you can do is type in D view again, select something. Now when you select something, that's all you're going to see in the preview. So you select it, press enter. That's why I typically like to select a lot of things or all of the things if appropriate. If I type in TW again for twist, now I can put it back to where my angle was before. So if I type in zero, it puts me back to angle zero. Press enter, and everything's rotated back the way it was. Now the thing about D view twist is remember the angles are absolute. 
So if I say I want it at zero degrees, it puts it back at the normal top view. If I say I want it at 90 degrees, it'll be rotated 90 degrees. If I say 45 degrees, it goes to 45 degrees. Now it's not 45 degrees from where it currently is. It's at the 45 degrees set mark. So think of this as being at zero, 45, 90, you know, 180, 270, 360, et cetera. Those are absolute values or settings. So remember that. You can also do this in model space or in any viewport that you have. So this is a quick and easy way to set your drawing view at a very specific angle so that you can look at it the way you really need to.